I totally forgot to press record, but this is the Vacation Brand SPF. It looks like whipped cream, and I'm sure you've seen it on TikTok, but it just smells so good. <laughs> and it's great for your sun protection if you're going to be wearing this out. Next, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade, I don't know, medium? <laughs> shade 4 medium. What I will say about this is that it does sometimes clog up my pores. If you have better luck with the e.l.f. one, the e.l.f. Halo Glow, definitely use that. Um, I think it's worth it sometimes to use, so I do use it sparingly and not as often. It's unfortunate, but it does give the skin a glow that is just undeniable, and it has a slight bit of coverage, and it will change the way your foundation looks on top of the skin. So I do really enjoy this product, but there are pros and cons with it. The Lumi Glotion is an option that I use often that personally does not break me out. I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation. This is a more like satin, almost natural finish. It's not fully matte, but it's definitely not dewy, which is why I prepped the skin the way I did, because I want to have like a pretty little dewy moment. Again, as you guys know, anything that can be linked will be linked, um, but don't feel like pressured to buy something. If you don't need something, don't go out and buy it. But if you are in the market for something and you want to take someone's recommendation or you like the way that it applies or you're ready to upgrade a product that you have, there's a hair. Then absolutely, you know, do your research and, and all that good stuff, but I don't ever want anyone to feel pressured into like... You don't have to have the newest of the new or the best of the best or what everyone is currently obsessing over just for your makeup to look good, which is why I have a lot of different tutorials with a lot of different products. I did recently do like a full drugstore makeup look for like flawless base. So if you guys want to check that out, I will put it on the screen somewhere here for you. I've really been obsessing over this Made by Mitchell Curve Case lately in the shade Medium. We're going to go in with the shade Teddy Bear. It just blends like little butter and this is the Real Techniques setting brush. It's like for setting powder but I think that it is really great for this product. This just warms everything up, really chisels everything out and it's gonna just look so flawlessly blended. I just did my nose contour over on TikTok because everyone asks and I just kind of found a way where I like how it looks when I contour it but I'm not I don't know if this is how I'll always do it, but I digress. Let's move on to the next step. When it comes to different face shapes, like where you contour is going to be different, but I do like to bring some down my jaw just like a tiny bit and up on the sides of my chin. And whatever is left on my brush, I will put underneath my lip because it provides a shadow and just makes it look a little bit bigger. I don't know. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I am going to just clean up underneath my contour. You can totally skip this step. I just like to do it. I might also add a little brightness to the forehead and the chin and this is a very hydrating formula so I like to use it because I have more dry skin. Now once I have done that I like to go back in with my foundation brush and just with tapping motions kind of go over that concealer. So everything is sharp but also like blended. It feels like an unnecessary step, but it does make everything look a little bit more cohesive in the end. And I keep it kind of sharp up underneath the jaw. Next, I'm going to be going in with Peach Sugar. It is this pink, but not too pink. It's like a, it's just like the perfect peach. It's literally called peach, and I love a good peach blush. And I'm just going to tap this on the apples of my cheek and bring it upward. I think peach blush looks amazing on everyone, and I like that this one leans a little bit like pinky peach. Now I'm going with the Tarte Shape Tape in 20S Light Sand, and I'll put that right directly on the inner corner of my eye here. This is so full coverage, and if you don't like this concealer, you probably have been using too much or not blending it out quickly enough. However, I do like to mix it with, again, a hydrating Concealer, this is the Tinty Dole Lancome Concealer. And I'll just put that also underneath my eye. Again, we already concealed the forehead. And I'm just going to blend this out with a sponge because it gives me a more flawless, seamless under eye. Now, whatever is left on my sponge after blending that out, I will go ahead and set my lids with. 
putting that concealer on with the beauty blender also just helps the blush to just like really nicely blend so it looks very seamless. I'm going to be using the NYX Snatch and Lift Brow Tint Pen in the shade Espresso and just slightly filling in my brows. I don't want like too bold of a brow but if you do, go for it. I never do my brows without cleaning them up with concealer, ever. It just pulls everything together and gives your brow a much more structured look. I also never have an issue with my brows like looking out of place or anything like that. So if you do, this is the time you would add the brow gel. Now to add some hydration back to the face before I set this with powder, I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Setting Spray. Ooh, that's cold. Kind of feels good though. And then I'm going to push everything into the skin and then we're going to powder. I like layering my setting sprays and hydrating mist and fixing sprays in between the steps of my makeup to really, really, really make it last. That is where I noticed the biggest difference. And I also notice how much more seamless and cohesive it looks on the skin when I do this. You guys know my favorite, the Makeup Revolution Translucent Setting Powder. It is just so blurring and so flawless. So we're gonna use this on the under eye. I've been talking about this powder for years because I feel like it is so underrated and slept on. It is 1.12 ounces of product. It is such a huge container and it is so blurring. I just, I genuinely love it with all that I have. It is easily comparable to so, so many high-end powders though. I'm gonna use the same powder to just set my eye as well. Now the key to this eye look for it looking good on everyone is to find and figure out how to use the color wheel. So for example, my eyes are blue and the opposite of blue on the color wheel is orange. So that is what's gonna give my eyes the most contrast, the most definition and complement them the best. So I'm going to use an orange toned brown. I'm still gonna use a brown, but it's gonna be a very warm orangey toned brown. Think spray tan. So this is the shade Walker from the Morphe X Abby Roberts palette. And I'm just going to put this in my crease. Again, this is like a medium toned brown shade, but you can see that it has very orangey undertones in it. And I'm just going to buff this into my crease. You can see the difference in the definition that this adds to the face and to my eyes, the contrast that it gives. Personally, I like to add a little extra shadow right here on the outer corner. It just adds a bit more dimension to the eye. So I'll just wiggle the brush back and forth to deposit that color exactly where I want it. And then personally, I prefer a more like cat eye eye shape, like a more angular, sultry look. And I just feel like this looks really, really good on everyone. So I'm going to just gently with no extra product on my brush, pull out that outer corner and blend it like in a V shape with very light pressure because I want it to be super subtle. If you want your eyes to appear larger, definitely keep that circle shape you have going on. If you have very, very small closed eyes or close set eyes even, fanning this out really, really, really helps. Next, I'm gonna take a very small brush and a warmer, darker brown. So it's super, super warm. It's like a dark chocolate and very orangey. You could use a black or um, uh, even darker, cooler toned brown, whatever you think suits your face best and flatters you the most. And just putting this on the outer third of my eye, right on the lash line, keeping this really low and blending this very slowly. Now, if you have hooded eyes, you don't have to pull this out into a wing or anything like that, because I know like not every eye shape does a wing look good on. I get it. But even if you keep the placement solely on the lid and don't lift it up at all, it will still be really, really flattering and add contrast and depth to your eye and can still just give you a really nice, sultry, pretty feminine effect. Now I'm gonna take that same brown color and just put this right under the eyes. This is gonna make the look look just a bit more complete and add a bit more depth. It adds like a natural shadow that we already have underneath our eyes. And I used to never do this step until I started doing it. And now I can't stop because it looks so incomplete if you don't do this step. And if you're just using your favorite brown eyeshadow, it will look flattering. It's just going to add like a little bit of depth and dimension to the look, just another layer. And I don't know, it's just really flattering. Don't skip this step. Now, this is definitely a secret trick that I use often. This is the e.l.f. Camo Foundation, and I'm actually going to use this as an under eye brightener. And I'm going to place this right in the inner corner 
underneath the eye. Look at the difference that that made in between my eyes. So you're just gonna take the little powder puff and tap this. There's a lot of coverage because it is a powder foundation. Once you've laid it down, you kind of want to stop or you'll get like a splotchy effect. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray. This is just going to bring my face back to life after powdering it with all those powders. It feels so good. And I'm just going to push that powder into the under eye specifically because that's where we used a lot of extra powder. We want everything to look very seamless, but I'm going to try to leave my cheeks wet because we're going to add highlighter. The Wet n Wild Cool Champagne Highlighter. This is beautiful and you can skip this step if you want but I like to just add the teensiest bit of sheen to the top of my cheeks and I feel like this is such a flattering shade. I also I like a shiny nose, that's just me. Now everyone looks good with a sparkly inner corner on their eye in my personal opinion, so I'm gonna take the same highlighter and put this on my inner corner. I'm also just gonna do a little bit down my nose. My most favorite universal lip on everyone is the NYX Professional Lip Liner in the shade London, and then their liquid, no, their soft matte liquid lip in the shade London. I have been obsessed with the Ofra blush in the shade Chameleon for about a year now. I just can't seem to get away from it. So we're going to use that just to reinstate that blushy color. It's a matte. The lip cream. I'm out of my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, but that is what I would be using in all honesty. I am going to curl my lashes. Make sure you get your under lashes because if not, you're missing out on like prime real estate to add definition to your eye and a cohesiveness to your makeup look. I promise it's worth it. Okay, so this is the finished look. I love it. It's so wearable. And if you were going to wear a lash, I would personally wear like a half lash with this. It's just flirty. It's feminine. It's neutral. It's, it's giving. Okay, she ate. Okay, I was teaching my boyfriend all of the slang, the new slang, earlier this week, and he was like, what does that mean? Um, it's just funny to grow old and be older. I'm 26. Did you guys know that? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy celebrating, and it's everything you thought it would be, but um, be safe out there because we don't need any more Scorpios. Okay, love you. Bye.